upset because she was the only girl, probably. That's right, exactly. And because she was the oldest. Uh, yeah, and because she was the oldest, and he made a nice, beautiful flat upstairs for her. And I used to go upstairs there and, and practice. Every day I practiced. So, uh, this is on Mortimer Street? Mm-hmm. 98, 90, 98 Mortimer, 96. Is that house still standing? No, that's the projects now mm -hmm. on Mortimer. So anyway, I had to practice every day because it cost my father $3 a week. And that was a half a scholarship <laughs> from Arthur Yasha Pai. It was supposed to be $6 a lesson, and Pai made it $3 a lesson because Harry was a talented boy. And then, you know, <laughs> Give me a half a scholarship, big deal. Mm -hmm. He wanted the three bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't he a good teacher? Yes, he, well, no, not really. But what a talent. Fabulous player. Mm -hmm. And I used to, I learned a lot just from watching him. Mm -hmm. He'd say, it goes like this, and he would play it. You know, a young kid uh, who's very, you know, in love with what he's doing, I used to watch him, and I'd watch him avidly. And I used to emulate him. Tremendous player, tremendous Russian, a little redhead called Arthur Yashopai. And I could tell you stories about him that would, it's unbelievable. So uh, I'd play my lesson for him. He'd go in the other room at, at the hotel terrain with one of the students, beautiful mothers, a young lady, and keep playing, I'm listening to you. <laughs> The door to the bedroom would close. <laughs> That's how I got my good ear. I'd hear those bed springs. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, it was fun. It was fun. A real a remarkable man. Very interesting character. Arthur Yashapai. Unbelievable man. So when I, when I was 12, he gave me a recital in Toronto. And I played on a Guadagnini, a beautiful violin. And I played a, quite a, a, a very vigorous... Where did he get that violin? He, he loaned it to me. for, it for the, his violin. his violin. Mm -hmm. for, for the recital. And I played uh, Vivaldi, and I played Thibodeau Nache, Dances Saganis. And I played a, a lot. Pretty, pretty uh, enthusiastic program. I, my mother still has the write-ups. And uh, it was good. I got pretty good review from Toronto. And you were only 12? Yeah, 12. Mm -hmm. wow. So... Uh, had I had some real good, good background, I probably would have been a poor broken down symphony player or something like that now, which uh, I'm very glad I didn't because I went into a commercial and jazz field. I, that's one of the reasons I met mother, my yeah. grandmother, because I went with an orchestra at the Park Lane. She and she started at the Park Lane with an orchestra. She was the first one in the, in the Park Lane, the old Park Lane. The guy's name was Huey Barrett, and she sang with the orchestra. But I didn't meet her there. I went to Rochester with George Sapienza, another group, and that's where I met Lorraine. I went to high school with Sapienza. Well, that's, yeah, this is 